Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the vlog. This is Car Connections. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button, and smash that like button. Here it is, guys. It's actually finally happening. As I had mentioned in my previous vlog around the update on the 2021 Dodge Durango Helgato. Send me another update uh, literally this morning. I've just been so busy at work. I haven't had a chance to, to really provide a quick update. But, but, but what's great is the car has actually uh, is an AZ status. And the other comment uh, Trey shared with me is that it is, it's been released and that the car's coming. So uh, based on that, I'm thinking maybe two weeks uh, for it to get here all the way down to South Texas, maybe three weeks, maybe even sooner. Uh, but supposedly it's been released to transport uh, and it's it, the car's moving. Uh, so maybe there's a way to track it. If you guys know how to track your car based off your bin, if it's coming through rail, uh, who knows how they're shipping it. Uh, if you guys can comment down below, that would be awesome. So what does that mean for all of us? It's happening, guys. All of you guys that have been waiting for the Dodge Durango Hellcat, it's finally starting to happen. Yeah, so what's great also is the other thing is last night I was actually on Auto Trader uh, and Car Gurus, and you can actually go on those websites right now and filter by 2021 Durango, but now you can also filter by Hellcat Durango before you can do that, but now you can. What I noticed on there is that uh, you can actually see some vehicles. Now, some of them have just, you know, regular pictures of car, picture, but it's like a, a, a picture, a hub picture that's used for all Durangos. However, I did find one all in black uh, that were actual pictures of the dog's Durango Hellcat. So dealers are actually receiving these cars on their lots. Now, that doesn't mean you probably can't go over there and buy it, which you probably could, it just depends. Uh, but a lot of these Durangos have already been allocated to specific customers like myself and like some of you guys that are actually enjoying this vlog. But I'm also aware that there's a lot of them out there that the dealers ordered and they're actually in their lots and you can actually go out and order them. They're actually, I've actually seen some Hellcat Durangos without the pictures though, where they're actually already listing the cars. They're actually listing them under sticker, which is great. They're listing them for about three, $4,000 under sticker. And if you go on the website, again, on one of those, you'll notice that they have the car for sale, which I think, again, that's more than fair for this type of vehicle. Remember, you're spending a lot of money for this vehicle, guys, right? You're spending over $80,000 just to get inside. You're at $82,000 for the Dodge Durango Hellcat. As you start tacking on options, next thing you know, you know, you're pushing 95, you know, you're pushing that number. And the reality is, you know, this car is the same SUV it's been for the last maybe what decade? It came out in 2011. And yeah, they've made some updates to it. And for 2021, thank God, they updated the infotainment. They did some updates, but the car, if you look at the, 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 the inside of it, all the rest besides the dash, it's the same Durango that we've known since 2011, just with bigger engines. And so they updated, you know, they have a dash, you have Alcantara. So they're doing, they've done things to refine and attract folks like you and I. But the reality is when you think of a Durango Hellcat, the reason we're buying it is for the 707 reasons as to why we want to buy it, which is the power. Because the reality is my rig is coming out to about $88,000 before discounts. And by the way, if you need a car, in the Houston area, reach out to Trey at Trey Sells Cars on Instagram, or you can reach out to him directly here on Kirby, here in Houston, River Oaks Dodge. You know where I'm talking about, guys, if you're from Houston, reach out to him, he'll hook you up. But you know, it's an expensive rig, right? So you might say, well, what can I get for that? I mean, you literally can buy the new Wagoneer, Grand Wagoneer, which is with the 6.4 liter. It's gonna cost you about 88,000 before discounts. And it's top of the MOOC, right? I mean, it is fully refined. If you guys have watched some of the releases that just happened late last night, TFL Cars or Alex on Autos, any of those folks that you're following, um, you're gonna notice that that entry level, and there's even a one that starts like at 57, right? So you're competing against that. You're competing against the Lincoln Navigator. You're competing against the new Cadillac Escalade, which is beautiful with the digital dash. You're at those levels of pricing. So there's a lot of options that we have as folks to say, you know what, what's the purpose? Like I can get all these other type of vehicles instead of the Durango Hellcat. It's the power. It's the power that we're chasing. It's being able to have a family vehicle, right? 
that can actually turn into a muscle car instantly. And that's the value that Durango brings, right? Is being able to say, I can put in three people, four people, or even five people in my rig, and we can go zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. That's the value. The other value is that it's all wheel drive. It's not like the Challenger or the Charger Hellcat or Red Eyes, where yeah, they got big engines, they have a lot of power, but it doesn't stick. In a nutshell, what I'm telling you is if you race a Dodge Durango Hellcat off the line against your Hellcat, you're bound to beat them at the quarter mile, guys, because they're just not gonna stick. So don't be surprised if you start seeing people post videos that their Durango Hellcat is crushing Charger and Challenger Hellcats, even Red Eyes potentially, because that off the line, once you get off that line with four wheel drive, it's difficult for the person on the other side to catch up to you because you're already such a head. Now, I am not saying this is not gonna happen. And maybe sometimes the Challenger Charger will beat the Durango, but there's gonna be times where a third row SUV with potentially even a passenger on board can whoop their ass. I mean, literally, because at all wheel drive, you can actually use the entire power of the Durango Hellcat. So I'm excited. We've been waiting for a long time, guys. You guys that have been following this, this vlog for a while, maybe the last three, four, five months, you know, we, most of us ordered our rigs back in November of last year, and this is finally coming to fruition. So the biggest update I got today is from Trey is saying, hey, it's on its way, dude, right? It's on its way. So I'm excited. Um, pretty much, I think the next update I'll provide from you guys is ultimately, you know, going, uh, introducing you guys to Trey, even though I've introduced you guys in the past, we did the TRX review and I've introduced you guys today some, on some other vlogs, uh, specifically when I picked up also my, my Charger FA Green wide body. And so of course, I'll go through the whole process. I'll show up, bring my financing, but I think again, I might go with them because they, they tend to offer better financing and a lot more competitive when you bring your financing and uh, get another car from Trey, right? And I'm not the only one, by the way. So there's, a, there's something he's doing that other people are not doing. Uh, and like I've shared before, they don't sell all this other add-ons. You know, all these addendums that you see on other like air on NOS, you know, all this crazy shit on the tires and this paint protection and window tint. It's not like that, guys. And that's what I love about this Dodge dealership is they don't bullshit you like that, man, right? They just don't do those things, right? All the, a lot of these other Dodge dealerships, just go name them. They're here everywhere. I'm sure they're in your area. You show up and all of a sudden, you know, the car, you know, is say 50,000 and all of a sudden it's, you know, 53,000. Well, hold on, where'd you get the other 3,000? Oh, it's because we had a nitrous in the tires and we had pipe protection and we did this pinstripe and we did a tint and we did this engraving on the, on the windows and we have a tracker for it. Well, I never asked for any of that shit. So why are you making me pay for it? That's not gonna happen with these cats, especially with Trey and especially with this dealership. So again, if you're looking for a vehicle, reach out to him because you're gonna have to put up with any of that shit, right? I'm excited. It's happening. We're getting close. Stay tuned to the channel, guys. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, peace.